Welcome to Basic Science and Technology class for JS1 students. Today we shall be looking at forces. Let us look at the objective of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to do the following one. Define force and give the SI unit. Two, state the type of forces. Three, calculate gravitational force. Four, explain balance and unbalanced force. Five, state the differences between mass and weight. Six, define friction. Seven, state the advantages and disadvantages of friction. Eight, state the method of reducing friction. Meaning of force. Force is defined as an action that moves or tries to move a body or stops a body in a given direction. An object will continue in its original position of rest or moving in a constant motion unless a force acts on it and that is Newton's first law of motion. Now, force is a push or pull of an object. The standard international unit of force is measured in Newton as represented capital N. There are two types of forces. We have the contact force and the non-contact force, otherwise known as the force field. Now let us look at contact and non-contact force or force field. The first one, contact force. Contact force is a type of force which exists when source of force and body are acting upon or touched each other. Contact force can be direct or indirect. Examples of contact force are push, pull, tension, friction. Any form of activities that allows a push or pull is an example of contact force. Now let's look at non-contact force. Non-contact force is a type of force that does not need to be contacted before it acts on a body. It is also called force field because there is a region of space where force can act. Example of non-contact force are gravitational, magnetic and electrical force. Displayed on your screen are images of contact and non-contact force. For contact force, we can see a lady playing football is having contact with the ball and therefore there is um, a push. The second diagram on the contact force is a lady and a boy pushing an object upon which someone is seated upon. That is an example of contact force. Now when we look at uh, to the right side of the screen, we can see another image, the magnet trying to, to, to attract the metal object and that is an example of non-contact force which is otherwise called force field. A magnetic force is an example of a non-contact force. Gravitational and magnetic force. Of course, these two are example of force field or non-contact forces. Gravitational force is a type of force that attracts an object towards the center of the earth. When an object is thrown up, it will definitely come down due to the force of gravity. A force donated as F, which an object of mass M comes down from height H can be expressed mathematically as force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Hence, F is equal to mg. Considering H, considering H to be height and force to be mg, which is measured in Newton units, the work done by the force will be m times g times h. That's why we are having mgh, and the unit will be joules or Newton meter. We should take note that work done is the product of the force and the distance moved. And in this case, since the force is mg, which is the mass times acceleration due to gravity, then the force times the distance, which is 
already the height will be mg times h which gives us mgh and of course it's measured in joules energy is measured in joules and work done is measured in joules magnetic force magnetic force is a force that attracts magnetic materials towards a magnet as you can see on your screen the magnet is trying to attract the metallic nail to itself calculation of gravitational force calculate the gravitational force on a mass of 15 kg if the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second squared the solution force of gravity is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity where the mass is equal to 15 kilogram and the acceleration due to gravity is equal to 10 meter per second squared therefore the force of gravity will be equal to 15 times 10 which will give us 150 newton balance and unbalance